Gemini, just my guy. Y'all look so goddamn fly. What's good, Gemini? We're gonna do your mid May 2020 reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. So we have surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions that you're making. Don't let some anyone sway you away, away from that. So typically, you guys have a lot of information ruled by Mercury, right? You guys have the ability to get the best cosmic downloads right and quick too. eight of wands energy comes to you guys and witty on the feet be it you're able to communicate with the different relationships around you to get information that you're looking for okay fast communicators finesses gift of gap trust yourself and in information that you're getting don't let anyone sway you away from the actions that you're taking surrender to denial okay so, uh, accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decision. Again, this is, has to do with trusting yourself as well, right? Runs hand in hand. Step out of denial energy, step into that trust energy. Surrender to nature of beauty. One of the best ways to ground yourself and trust yourself and get rooted into that ground, the, um, the root, get rooted. <laughs> with that earth energy right that root chakra energy is going out taking a break and breathing in right releasing the now stepping into trust grounding yourself with spirit grounding grounding yourself with mother nature i'm gonna go ahead and read from three different decks i just um i'm gonna, I'm gonna pull some tarot cards from this uh this energy here let me get three cards from this deck the spacious tales there for Gemini, for me, I even Venus, Jupiter. Let me get three cards from this deck. All right, Tower card. Mm, so, whew, being in this hermit mode probably wasn't the best thing, or maybe you have to come out the hermit mode and you are not liking that breakdown. Maybe we actually like being in the hermit mode and we have to come out. Okay, or possibly a lot of you probably didn't like being in the hermit mode because you actually enjoy talking to people and connecting with people. Let me get one more card from this deck. Let me get one more card from this deck, Spirit. Ace of Wands. Okay. So you guys, I feel like you guys didn't like being in the hermit mode. Um, and you're ready to go out there and, and, and bring a spark of life. Uh, what's it, the bottom underlying energy here? High Priestess. Okay. It feels like you, you feel more um, balanced when you're out moving around, you know, being the messenger, moving quickly is what I'm getting. Yeah, so I'm feeling like someone did not like being in solitude, um, not go, like, some, it, it is time to go within, though. I think we just didn't like the extent of time that we had to go within, like, being, like I don't think, how do you say it? It kind of, it's kind of like me, right? I'm naturally a hermit. But when you have someone telling you that you can't go out, it's like, you know, a rebellious energy. You have the one, you just naturally want to rebel. So that energy I feel here. Because um, it was like a striking, like, in the gut feeling here. Like, ugh, I have to stay in. Like, ugh. And we're ready, we're ready to get out. We're ready to get that spark back. We're ready to, you know, do something. Put our energy towards something. I mean, after all, you are ruled by Mercury. You fast, quick messages. We're ready to uh, go out and touch people. You know, you are ruler of um, communication and relationships, right? Yeah, we're go we're ready to go uh, <laughs> contribute our spark to the world. Ten of Wands. Okay. So a breakdown happened um, and some burdens were released. So it looks like a breakdown definitely has to happen. So usually say, for instance, if you're in a relationship and you don't want to let go, but you guys eventually let go, now that burden is released, okay? You have Scorpio energy here, Virgo energy here, Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries energy here. Expand on this reading spirit. Let me get two more cards from this um, Trip and Wait Tarot deck. Okay. 
Mm, yes, there was a heartbreak that happened. Okay, so maybe being home and okay, no, you know what? Spirit just said that. Mm, I feel like we have, when it comes to trusting yourself, we found out some information. The information hurt. It was about our your your home life, your love. Yeah, we found out some information, Gemini. Mm hmm about a lover and it hurt but it also gave you the information that you needed to release the burden like now you know the truth even though the truth hurt they say the truth set you free and i see that being set free that burden releasing that breakdown is happening now did you walk away i feel like you're thinking about um how to still maintain your home life as a mother you know i'm getting the energy like i still have to be here with my family like she's looking at this pinnacle looking like i still have to be here and provide for my family and my babies i still have to flourish i still have to be the empress I'm feeling empress energy here i still have to pull it together even though my heart's broken and you know how I think we all been through that archetypal energy. I think I was going through it the other night. Just really being an energy where it just hurts. It hurts, but you have other duties. You still have to be a mom. You still have to wake up and cook food, right? You still have to do your child's hair. No matter how bad this pain hurt, you have to go within and find the energy to still embark on, and, be, and be, uh, be stable. Provide security to your children. Bottom of the deck, we have regrets here. There was an ending that happened. This is the counterpart of the death card. Um, I feel like you're saying your peace to your ending here. Like, yeah, something ended. But it's like, yeah, something ended, but I still got to be a mom. I still got to pay bills. I still got to do laundry. I still got to get this bag. Like, yeah. I still got to go out here and harness the energy. I'm surprised I don't see the chariot. Like, it's like we can't let this breakdown burden us is what I'm getting. Like, I can't let, like, it's like, I'm going to shake this shit off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't think about that. I can't think about that. Mm-mm. I got shit to do. I can't think about that. Mm-mm. Nope. Fuck all that. Like, I feel like we don't even have enough time to acknowledge the heartache and pain because we got to go do real life shit like work and provide for our children and fucking go you know do distance learning and homeschool and shit like that like no spirit what do we have moon yeah there was some secrets here something broke down in the devil card mm, you could be dealing with a capricorn or cancer or pisces or scorpio aries virgo mm-hmm but you're showing up in this Queen of Pentacles energy here. So you can have a lot of Capricorn in your chart or just the energy of, um, yeah, I feel like your mate was um, cheating. So you have the Tower card with the Three of Wands, um, Three of Swords, and then the King of um, Wands. So that King of Wands is always known as a player right next to the Devil card in Secrets. Okay, someone was holding secrets and going around overindulging and cheating, over over overindulging in like sex, maybe drugs. You feel tied to this person like you owe this person, like you have to stay with your family. You feel tied to this person. When the secret did come out, like I said, we, the burden was released. Okay, you know what it is now. Now you know how to go about with the information you have. It's no longer in the dark. You're no longer like, okay, am I tripping? Is this really happening? Am I tripping? Is this really happening? Okay, now I know this is really happening. Now I know what to do. Now I get to feel like I get to make my honest choice with the release of deceit, even though there's negative energy there. This person could not be honoring what they've done. Or they could have told you that they weren't going to do it again and they still did it. So you're like, wow, you're, you still ain't shit. I feel like we could be going inside thinking about doing something bad too. You know how some people cheat. They go, you know, they do that whole you cheat, I cheat shit. That ain't going to change anything though. Now that the secret was revealed here... I feel like we really know what we need to do. 
we like, I got to focus on other things. Like, now I know the truth. I got to focus on, I can't, yeah. You guys are placed in two different ways. Y'all y'all are not, y'all are aligned here. But it's like, y'all are still together. But y'all are on this, y'all in the same book, but y'all not on the same page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me go through and clarify. Yeah, you have the hangman. That's also Pisces energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces. For sure. Let me clarify. I kind of want to clarify with this this deck. Clarify the um, tower card spirit. Clarify the tower card for the Gemini. Clarify the tower card for Gemini. Mm, cherry. Didn't I sound surprised the cherry wasn't here? Bada boom, bada bam. Cherry, boom. There you go. Cancer energy. This is the uh, your home life um, de definitely came crashing down. Cancer is someone that definitely, um, the, four, the, the fourth house, I believe, right? Where they go look for um, home life energy, right? The, the energy with, that consists of how, your mother type energy. Mothering, home life, protecting the home life. So you feel like your home life is crashing down. It wasn't protected. And now, like, when it comes to harnessing the energies to keep your home life going... It's like, what energies do I need to harness? Like, I feel like I'm getting the energy that this is not the first time. So it's like, I feel like we have to harness the energy to come out of this. Like, we don't have enough time to be broken. So like I said, we have to release that burden rather quickly because we got shit to do. We got to be a mother and shit, you know? We have to come back into our energy. Like, I got shit to do. I got to go to work. I got to do this. I got to make dinner. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, mm, i rather not focus on this. But I know what I need to do now. I know that you still ain't changed. Clarify the... What is this? The hermit. Clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit spirit. Mm. Eight of pentacles. Yeah, we are thinking hard. We possibly are thinking hard. Like, what do we have to do to make this work? Is it me? You know what I'm saying? Like, typically when someone's cheating, we go back to seeing, like, how can we water it, Right? How can I water it? How can I water this relationship? How can I keep this person? Look, if she's trying to water her plants, it, this is kind of reminding me of the Seven of Pentacles, um, but she's watering her plants, getting them all beautiful because we're not understanding. Yeah, I feel like someone's insecure. It's not you, baby. It's not you. Trust me, it's not you. This has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with your mate. It's a... Ace of Wands, clarify the Ace of Wands, please, Spirit for Gemini. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Gemini, please, Spirit. Come down with probable messages, grand suggestions, please, Spirit. God Force, come down. I have to get a contest. Ooh, okay, that's way too many words. Mm, we are confused right now, hurt. We're not accepting love offers right now. We don't know how to feel, really. You have the Ten of Wands again. This is definitely burdening you. And the Queen of Pentacles again. The King of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness. Two of Cups in reverse. Strength. You are brokenhearted about this. And this is burdening you. Again, I see you trying to act. not. Uh, you're trying to not let it affect you. Let me get one card for the Ace of Wands. Like I said, we are trying not to let it affect you because you got shit to do. You got to be a mother. You got to pay the bills. You have to provide security for your children. I can't come crashing down. That's crazy because when somebody does that, it doesn't even, sometimes we don't even have the space to properly heal in is what I'm getting. You're going to have to go to counseling. Counseling. Ace of Wands, please. Ace of Cups. Hmm. That's interesting. I feel like we have so many emotions, like I already said, and we have nowhere to really put them. Yeah. As soon as I said that, the strength card, justice, and the devil card, I feel like we have all these emotions and we can't do nothing with them but go, like, work. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can't do nothing else but be a mom. Like, I got all these emotions. I love this person. I feel so emotional about this heartache and pain, but I have to have the strength to keep going 
like I feel like you don't have justice with this devil energy. Like, you don't have this proper space to heal in. And perhaps this person is acting as if, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you do got, like, the fact that you're harnessing the energy and choosing to put your emotions aside and move past this or try to move past this negative energy, you're not going to be able to heal properly. And it's going to, a lot of triggers going to come everywhere, from everywhere else. But also, I feel like your mate is like, acting as if this energy that you're in is okay like oh she good nah nigga i'm not good i'm not good at all the fuck i am not good at all to be quite frank i know you don't think i'm good so it's like bothering you more because honestly these emotions that i have with the ace and i feel like uh like you just want to tell somebody how you really fucking feel and honestly, it might not come out too bright. I'm surprised I don't see the five of, um, the five of, um, swords here. Clarify this, um, ten of wands, please. Clarify the ten of wands and first spirits come down. Ooh, okay. Eight of cups. Yes, we have some emotional regret. This is no longer what we want to be. Yeah, it's like the clouds is swallowing him, swallowing this person up. There's a chain. Is that the stack of cups? I feel like this person is tossing these cups backwards. Like, I'm leaving this emotion behind. Yeah. And with it being on top of the Ten of Wands, I feel like we, we can't, again, I'm not going to let this, I, I can't let this, I'm leaving this emotion behind because I got shit to do. So this is not healthy either for you, Gemini, because you do need to honor these emotions because it's just going to become triggers in other areas of your life. Three of swords. Clarify the three of swords here. Clarify the three of swords here. You can definitely be dealing with a water sign. King of wands. Somebody is definitely tower card, page of pentacles. Let me get one card, please. The full ten of cups. Mm. We feel like we gotta move on from this family emotions. Like someone broke our heart, so we feel like we were trying to get the courage to move away from um, your the family. Like, or we felt like someone was a fool and put their love elsewhere. Ten of Pentacles. Yep. Yeah. With the Empress in reverse. Yeah. We can't believe that this person is stepping out and gave their love. And, like, how you feel like when you, you feel like, what I'm hearing is, like, you, you ain't thinking about your family. That's what I'm hearing with that three of swords. You're not even thinking about what you've done to the family. Did you think about your family is what I'm hearing. Clarify the queen of pentacles. Clarify this queen of pentacles, spirit. Clarify this queen of pentacles. Yes, please. Thank you. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Oof, you're overexhausted. Hiding all these emotions, not being able to really express your energy and the fire that you have. Kind of like you want to bust somebody inside their damn head with the Ace, the ace of Wands. Like, using it as a bat. Like, boop, because wands can be used as a weapon, right? It's a, it's a wand. You could use the wand as a weapon. I feel like somebody want to bust somebody upside their head, but we're holding back. We're weary. We're overexhausted with this person still cheating again. I don't feel like this is the first time this person has been a cheater. Yeah, he is a king of wands. He is a skilled cheater player. Oh, unfortunately. But yeah, we are just overly exhausted, okay? We feel like we done fought a lot of battles, okay? And we feel like we have not yet won the war. And it's like, why are we... Oh. One second, y'all. Why are we having to even fight a, this battle? You know what I mean? Why are we even having to fight this battle with our husband? Um, or our mate, you know, with about this commitment, which is super crazy. Yeah, this person. So, on the moon card, we have a night of... Yeah, someone was going in and out. Yeah, the moon... The secret is that someone was... It ain't no secret anymore, obviously. But someone with the king, the knight of cups, that's someone sharing that, you know, the knight of cups is just as sticky as the king of cups. He's just as suspicious. 
So someone was going out and giving their love. Someone was inconsistent with the love that they have for you. And they was also giving their love to other people. Clarify the devil card. Clarify the devil card. Clarify the devil card, spirit. Clarify the devil card. Energy. Mm. Clarify the devil card energy. Clarify the devil card energy. The magician. And it's crazy because this magician kind of look evil. Like he is... This magician is shrinking something. Clarify the devil card. Ooh, okay, thank you, spirit. Eight of wands. Oh, wow. Someone could be doing spell work. Someone could be doing dark magic. That's what I'm getting. Mm. So, for some reason, I'm, I'm getting dark magic. Someone's doing magic. Someone could probably have something over them. Someone could be doing magic on your mate. Someone could even feel like they're being controlled by a lower entity. Yeah. Clarify the king of wands. Clarify the king of wands. Ten of wands. Yeah, this king of wands, um, he's a burden for sure. And I think he knows that, like... I, don't, I think he knows that his addiction is burdening his family. Like, you have to know that, right? Yeah. He's definitely a burden. Uh, he knows that he caused it. And, again, I feel like he's just acting cool because you're acting cool. But, like, play it. Don't act like we ain't got a whole big problem over here. You know what I mean? Like, he definitely knows that... Um, he could also kind of feel like you're a burden for some reason. For pe some reason, people try to, like flip that you know what i'm saying act like you're a burden for some reason and try to flip it like when you try like just act like oh like you're nagging about something that they did which was cheat yeah i'm getting that energy let me get some love cards here from this arrows of love or i love this deck y'all spirit what, what do we have for gemini what, what do we have Mm. Violets are blue loyalty. Violets are blue loyalty. This it just makes me sad. There's um someone's looking out the window crying. Yeah, someone doesn't feel like someone was loyal. Mm. Yeah, so it, we still, I feel like we're still trying to be loyal to someone who isn't loyal. We're still trying to spring forward with the love and try to make it work. Try to be lighthearted about the situation. Try to still be a mother about it. It definitely are plenty of fish in the sea. You could be definitely damn right thinking about that. <laughs> and again, you could be dealing with um, a Pisces. I see these two fish, three fish, four fish here. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign for sure. And they are going about their lives. Like there are plenty of fish in the sea, but they have a nice dolphin at home, I guess you could say. Boundary standards. So I think it's time, because I've seen a lot of insecurities. Um, it's time that you speak up about your emotions. I feel like this is going to be a learning lesson for you. This person is, could be your karmic and just here to teach you a really hard lesson here. Because if this cycle is still happening, um, and it's been happening, uh, there's some type of... I feel like your mate has like an addiction, a sexual addiction. You could be, when you do speak up, you could be saying, there's plenty, there's other fish in the sea. You know, like, I could go out here and do what you're doing. But I, I'm too loyal for, to do that. It is time that you start set, setting some boundaries as far as what makes you feel comfortable. Because if this person, I feel like I said, this person's been doing this. And they stopped. 
Yeah, because it's like you just make yourself available at all times. Like, you need to have some boundaries. Like, no matter what they did, you still, like, there has to be a sense of something. Because, like I said, what you just going about, like, everything's okay and still going about and cooking dinner and all kind of whatever you be doing. Um, this person is just like, oh, she good. Like, the, it's like a routine. Like, oh, she's still going to love me in the morning type energy. Let me get some additional cards here. Spirit, let me get some additional cards here. It's for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. I'm about to pull. <laughs> wow. <sighs> I feel like this person... Yeah, you guys are definitely mirroring each other. When you're in a relationship like this, it mirrors where you need to heal. Someone is codependent here. And someone feels like they get away easily with uh, with your nonchalant or not telling a person like, hey, you're fucking up. Heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together perfect. I feel like, you know, you guys could actually, you could, de you could decide to move forward out of this. And, you know, honestly, Spirit is saying like, wouldn't be a bad idea. But it's hard for you because even though you feel like, you know, you feel like this person has your heart, even though you want to move away from this energy, you feel like this person has all the keys to your heart. And somehow you're just so attracted to this person and that energetic cord is, it's, it's like you're tied in. Mm, I know exactly what that feels like, honey. So it's like, damn, do I leave and try it with someone new? You know, it, it reminds me of that critter brain thing, you know. Or that fear of change even though this perpetual cycle hurts it's like did you die okay no the brain says why are you leaving you didn't die what are you doing don't do that on top of all the insecurities and new agreements that you need to make uh, and boundaries you need to set it's like we feel safest the safest place that we feel is with you know in the hands of someone that hurts us like the same person that makes us cry at night is the same one that wipes our tears that's pretty unhealthy final advice for gemini final advice for gemini a time look at that look at that look what we got here mm -mm -mm. bring love into the situation a time for healing balsamic moon isn't that isn't that crazy it's definitely the time for healing that's for damn show I'm trying to hear up this um, reading for my phone, guys. I definitely want to get this information out because this is deep. Okay, guys. Pulling this card suggests that the past is the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take your next step, make sure that that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Didn't I say that you were pretending that everything is okay? I cannot make this up. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. And then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time for to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Trust. Surrender the beauty of the nature. Go on in there. Get a mother nature universe. Yes. Gaia. Mm, powerful insight can be had if you know that someone or something really isn't good for you. This card is a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief in your dreams so you, you're ready when the time comes. In denial. Like you know someone isn't good for you and you're just choosing to be blindfolded. You're choosing to be the eight of wands. Mm, I cannot make this up. Attuned to the moon. When one, one, one is healed, all are healed. Additional meanings. It is time to let go of the past. Yes. Again, with that Eight of Cups energy, I've seen someone like, you know, just walk moving forward. But we're battling with being a homemaker, a mom, a wife. Yeah, you're about to turn the corner. Yeah. You need more time to heal. Like I said, yeah. 
Then I say you might need counseling and therapy. Mm -hmm. Think about how the situation would look if everyone were healed. Mm -hmm. Like I said, your person needs to heal their addictions as well. This is deep. I like readings that I can actually like read like Capricorn reading I just did. I, I, I don't know what the hell Capricorn got going on. They always give me a damn headache. But um, Gemini, that was your reading. I hope it, the advice helps. You have free will to take it, the information and apply it to your life. Please go get some healing. Move through those emotions. Don't act like it doesn't exist because it is going to trigger other areas of your life. Peace.